Pedestrian bridges throughout the world are constructed at critical points to help people cross busy highways without having to risk their lives dodging speeding vehicles and reckless drivers. Such bridges, when used by pedestrians, help save lives and reduce deaths resulting from road accidents within the city. We expect that these pedestrian bridges are supposed to be used by these pedestrians. But unfortunately, they think if I go on a speed on my foot to cross the road, it will be faster for me to cross. Going up and coming down to the other side, which is more safer for them, they don't look at it like that. Abuja, Nigeria's capital, has over 15 pedestrian bridges just constructed for this purpose. Before they were constructed, statistics from Federal Road Safety Corps reveals that about 100 people were killed every quarter by reckless drivers on the city's highway. In spite of the risk, however, some pedestrians in Abuja would rather run across the busy highways than use the pedestrian bridges. I think uh, it is because they don't know the importance of the bridge, because if they want to uh, make it a shortcut, one can go to his grave earlier than, than thought. The problem, there is a lot of thief disturbing us here. Like in the early in the morning, if you are passing, they will snatch your bag. They can't allow you to pass. That's the problem we are facing here. That's why you see people, they prefer to cut the net and pass through it. Because of, even I'm even thinking that I'm coming from the church now that if I'm leaving tomorrow morning, how do I even have, because if you want to pass here, the thief will attack you. They will collect your bag. The road is very wide. It's not advisable for any same man to go and cross that road. Otherwise, you will be crushed down by vehicle. But when you do the industrial bridge, it will be better for you and you'll save your life. On the other hand, officials of the Federal Road Safety Corps are worried about the attitude of these pedestrians. They will do everything possible to encourage the use of the bridges. I believe with time, the government will look towards that direction. If that is what will make people to use the pedestrian bridges, then we'll have no alternative than to recommend that to the government to enact a law or an act on that. If that will make people to use the pedestrian bridges, what we are looking at here is safety of lives and properties. Currently, police officers have started arresting pedestrians who force their way through these wire fencing that are installed to encourage the use of the bridges. Should the recommendation for a stiffer penalty be approved, pedestrians who refuse to use these bridges could have harder times just ahead of them.